Hi, I'm Debbie Lawrence from Newport Live and my colleague... I'm Bryony from Newport Live too. Um, so we thought we'd do a double up today. I'm going to teach and I'm going to get Bryony to do some of the exercises. So we're going to start in a seated position and I'm going to ask you, Bryony, just to put your legs in a position that feels comfy for you. So it could be that your legs are bent, it could be that your legs are crossed um, and if you need to use your little pillow underneath your bottom to sit upright, you can. Yeah, so that's our start position. And all we're going to do initially, um, just keep the hands maybe down by the side of the body. You use the tummy just to keep sitting up. There's quite a challenge going on there already. But just lifting the shoulders up to the ears for two counts. Keep the chin forward and keep looking forward. Not that far. <laughs> and so, so not poking it forward, but just watch that the head doesn't lift up. And then again, lifting. That's it, beautiful. Come rolling it back down, gorgeous and keeping the ribs and hips connected. Do another couple of those for me. So this is just prepping that shoulder girdle, so getting some mobility into that shoulder girdle. Maybe one more, and breathing nice and controlled. That's lovely. And then from there, can you take that breath in, and as you breathe out, just let your arms float up. Beautiful, keep those uh, lengthening upright, and then take it down. So we're going into some, a little bit of mobility there for that shoulder joint. If it's not available, you can just keep the arms at a lower height. But if it's available, could you lift the arms all the way up? Beautiful, lengthening up and then bringing it down. And again, drawing the tummy in all the time. So that lifting up, beautiful. You can always see your hands in your peripheral vision without moving the head. And then one more of those. That's lovely, just lifting up. And then take the hands down. Now we're going to do a breast straight prep today. So as a prep for that, can you lift the arms, bend the elbows, and then squeeze the hands out to the side. Beautiful. So that's going to be the start position when we're lying on the floor for our breast stroke prep. So I'm going to show you this side on, so hopefully you can see me there. And the action is, could you try while you're seated just to squeeze those elbows and the wrists back now the idea, when we're on the floor, I want this part to stay beautifully in line. Yeah, so that's a little bit of that kind of prep action. Just one more, and then bring it in, let the arms float down. And, and just let's have a little kind of mobility there for the spine, so uh, breath in. As you breathe out, you just tuck your chin in, and then roll the spine down. So it's rolling the head, and then roll the spine and then uncurl that to an upright seated position. Beautiful, beautiful. Do one more of those. So breath in, tummy in, tuck the chin in, and then just pass it beautifully, roll that spine down, but keeping those tummy muscles active. And then uncurl, 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 and lift beautifully tall, but chin parallel. Okay, so that's a little kind of prep. Bryony, if I can get you now, to roll over onto your tummy facing that way, please. So we're going to roll to one side first. Make it nice and slow, nice and comfy for you. Um, I'm going to get you initially um, to set your head up. So this is where you might want that little cushion underneath your forehead. So you can place the cushion underneath your forehead and rest your head down. That's cool. I'll talk you through it, so you have to trust me here, Brian. Okay. Um, let's bring your hands down to the side of the body and your palms are facing upwards. So the first thing we're going to aim for is a little dart exercise, but we're just going to do the upper part of the body first. So this one, you check your pelvis is in neutral, so ideally the pubic bone and the hip bones are connecting to the floor. Does that feel comfortable lying on your tummy there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Okie dokie. So when you're ready, you take a breath in, and as you breathe out, just imagine your fingertips are stretching towards your ankles, and then you turn your palms to face your thighs, and you keep the head on the floor, that's it. But really squeeze the shoulders down, and then you uncurl from that. So uncurl the wrist down to that start position, that's it. The shoulders may round a little forward. Take a breath in, as you breathe out, you zip the tummy, and again, it's that dart. Not too much. Watch that the upper part of the back here doesn't overactivate. Try and get that middle of the spine working. You can roll out of that. Can you do another couple of those for me? Mm -hmm. 
So you can see your fingertips are really sort of stretching here. Try and relax that top half of the back and focus on the middle section of the back. Just keep it in that nice flow. It's actually harder than it looks as an exercise because sometimes these back muscles, middle back muscles, are ones that get a little bit inactive and the chest muscles can get a little bit overactive from kind of driving and desk work. So another two. So that's the dart arm position. Have we got one more to go? Yeah. Okay, so that's working this middle kind of part of the back here. I'm going to show you just between the shoulder blades. That's lovely. And the head stays nice and still. And you're going to rest the hands down. You might want to bring your hands up and place one hand on top of the other underneath your forehead just to have a little and rest your forehead. But keep the shoulders spaced away from your ears. Now here, can you bring your big toes to touch together? That's it. And the heels are rolling out to the side. And so the action is, again, we've got that neutral position of your pelvis and the tummy button's a light lift away from the floor as if you've got a little ladybird underneath your tummy button. You take a breath in and as you breathe out, you lightly engage your tummy, then you engage your buttock muscles. So engage the buttocks, gentle, squeeze the thighs together, then the knees together, then the calves together, then the ankles, really squeeze, hold that position, keep the hold and the connection, keep the breath going, on your next outward breath, let the ankles unroll, then the knees, then the thighs, then the buttocks, and then loosely the tummy. And we'll go through that again. So it's a breath in, and when you're ready, keep the shoulders relaxed, let's engage the tummy, then the buttocks, squeeze the thighs in, squeeze the knees, calves, and the ankles. So you've got that sequential control. Keep the breath controlled all the while, Next one, as you breathe out, it's the ankles release, the knees, the calves and knees, then the thighs, then the buttocks, and then the tummy. So we've got that control of each stage of that movement. Can you do two more of those for me, Brian? Mm -hmm. So again, connecting to the breath, keeping the shoulder square. Watch that the back doesn't lift off the floor. That's beautiful. So we've got that really strong kind of contraction here of the legs. So that's the lower body part of the DAR action. And again, on the outward breath, lovely, the ankles release, calves, knees, thighs, buttocks, and then tummy. But everything's staying um, engaged until it's its turn to let go. So we're keeping that control of the movement. So you can see this beautiful kind of straight line of the body. And we're going to make that the last one. So when she unrolls, or when you unroll, no more for a minute. But what we're going to do is add the two moves together. So if you can bring the hands back down to the side of the body and your palms face up, and again, you keep the head looking down on the floor. So this time it's a breath in to prep, and as you breathe out, you do the arms, so turning the palms and that leg action, beautiful, together. You might find that the head lifts a little way away from the floor, but not lifting up. And then when you're ready, just uncurling that down. So it's uncurled sequence, 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 beautiful breath in at the bottom. And then that outward breath really reaching towards your ankles. So that whole back line of the body is really kind of strong. Still got that engagement of the tummy, so the little ladybird there. On the outward breath, the ankles release. And then the, the work, work your way through the legs to release out and at the same time the arms and the shoulders. Two more of those for me. Mm -hmm. Feeling okay there though? Yeah. Cool. So hopefully you're feeling okay the other side of the camera too. This is, again, we're going into kind of stronger exercises here. So not so much of a prep. You've got quite a bit of work going compared to the seated version anyway that we've done. And then we're gonna go for one more of these. That's beautiful. So that lovely strong kind of dart action. And then when you're ready, um, curl from that. So everything comes uncurled sequentially. So here you've got a lot of work. You've got the buttocks and the legs working. You've got the tummy working. And you've got that back um, back working with the muscles, specifically the muscles in the middle section of your shoulder blades. Okay. 
Remember the breaststroke position where we had those arms wide, Bryony? So in that kind of like howl position, your hands up position, that's it. So you can see here the elbows are slightly lower than the armpits, slightly, that's it, not too low. Beautiful parallel connection. And make sure they're balanced each side. Now, the challenge here, we're wanting to keep the hands on the floor initially and your spine is going to lift away from the floor but focusing on the muscles between the shoulder blades doing the work. So you take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you zip the tummy, feel the shoulder blades slide towards your buttock, slide down, not lifting, not lifting, slide them down and let your body, not the elbows, keep the elbows lifted, lift your head away from the floor but lift, keep, your head, keep looking down. That's beautiful. Keep looking down, keep looking down. Watch that the head doesn't lift. I want to touch the middle of your shoulder blades here, but keep the chin in for me. And then slowly uncurl down. So this is a breaststroke swimming preparation movement. We're really working on those muscles in the middle of the shoulder blades again. Same thing again. As you breathe out, keep looking down. Don't move the head. Focus on that movement coming beautiful, better, better from that middle section of the spine. Keep the crown of the head lengthening away. Careful not to look up. I think you've got a little looking up going on. It looks like that's it. Better, better, better. Good stuff. And that beautiful control down. Keep the abdominals engaged. The legs can stay relaxed. No pushing off the arms for this one. Can we go for two more? So really feel the shoulder blades slide down. That's perfect. Now don't move the head. Just let the back do the lifting, the back, the back, the back, the back. And you should feel it in that middle section more of the spine. So really start to bring some more mobility into that spine and through an extension action. We're going to do one more. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is doing well there. This is fabulous. And then rest it down. So that's a little initial kind of prep action. Um, if you need to have a little rest, you can here. If not, I'm going to get you just to start. We're going to focus on lifting the palms of the hands away from the floor rather than the elbows. So it's going to be a not the head lifting, breath into prep. And as you breathe out, feel the hands, not the head, not the head, not the head, just the hands. The elbows can lift up too, but the hands should come higher. That's it. So the elbows actually sink down and then rest down from that one. So even more focus on drawing the shoulder blades down. It doesn't have to be a big lift. It can almost be half an inch away from the floor. So breath, that's it. Breath in and as you breathe out, the wrist lifts away from the floor too. Watch your hands don't lift up. Keep the hands parallel. It feels really weird, but it should feel quite strong in those muscles in the middle of the back and breath in to let it come down. The elbows are still a little bit higher here, so I want you to keep the elbows down and lift the wrist just a little bit more. As you breathe out, that's it, perfect, just there. Excellent, excellent. So can you feel those muscles, middle, shoulder, back? Mm -hmm. yeah. Good stuff, and easing it down. And it's challenging, folks. If you can do one more, that would be great. Draw the tummy in, that's lovely and then rest it down. Okay, you can have a little rest there. I'm gonna add one more challenge and we're gonna go into kind of like a breaststroke, but I'm gonna need you just to turn your mat on an angle mm -hmm. slightly, if that's okay. Beautiful. Just so that you've got, that's it, a little space to spread the arms out like this. That's cool. So forehead is on your resting on your little pillow. Mm -hmm. Your hands are out in that um, W kind of shape position. Um, and this time we're going to do a breath into prep. We've got that neutral pelvis set up. The legs are relaxed initially. And um, I want you to lift the hands slightly away from the floor. And then reach the arms forward as if you're going to do that breaststroke swimming action. Turn the palms out. That's it, and then as if you're pressing back through the water into the dark, and the upper body can lift a little bit away from the floor here and there. That's it, right to the thighs, right to the thighs. Brace the legs together, keep the ribs and hips connected, and then release and come back to that um, start position, the hands in the W position. 
So bring the hands back to that W position. And see if you can get that going in a kind of a smooth action. So it's a breath into prep. As you breathe out, that little lift, reach forward. So it's swim the arms. It can be stronger, swim and then reach and pull the arms back. It can be a little quicker than that. That's cool, you're bracing the legs too. Watch that you're not following the spine, so keep the spine in that neutral. Right to, hands press right to your thighs, and then scoop your hands round into that W shape again. That's beautiful. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Watch those elbows, they've gone a little bit higher there. Okay, it's all right, we'll, we'll let her off with one, won't we? <laughs> That's it. She's got the hard job there. I've got the easy job just talking through it. This is quite a strong exercise. Okay, last one now. Bring the hands W position first. Wide, that's it. And then let's go one more. Zip tummy, really strong sweep. Point your fingertips and then pull away. Keep the ribs and the hips connected so we're not getting too much of a hollow in that spine. Your head lifts away slightly from this one. Palms touch your thighs, the legs are braced and then come back to the hands are in a, a W position. And what you might want to do there is just push up onto all fours. So push up onto all fours and then into a child pose. So just push your bottom back to your heels, reach your hands forward. If you need the cushion underneath your forehead, you can, or you can double up your hands like so, double fist, and then just place them underneath your forehead. Put your forehead on your hands, that's it, if it's more comfy. So just hold in this position. And just have a little rest stay out from that. So it's given a little rest for the back, rest for the neck. Um, and here we've got the hands uh, uh, supporting the forehead. If it's comfortable and if your head, forehead touches the floor or if you've got your cushion, you can just rest your forehead there. Or, and you can have the hands forward. You could always, you, can you reach your hands back towards me, Bryony? So just see if they'll reach back in that little curl position. So we're just re resting and relaxed back there. And from there, what I'll get you to do is uncurl gently and come up onto a seated position. You might want to face the camera. I hope I'm still in shot there to give a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's as done for the kind of prone lying. And it's a lot of work strengthening the upper section of the back. You had a lot of work there for the glutes. Um, and that gets us prepped for some of the more advanced exercises that we'll progress to or can progress to later. But this is the setup for them. Cool. All right, thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks, Bryony. Thank you. <laughs>